You probably heard it. Big news for Tesla, very important news for Tesla. Tom Zhu has been retained, the head of China manufacturing. One of the most important people at Tesla has been retained through a new contract where he gets 520,000 Tesla stock options. I don't know how many Tesla stocks you have. I have significantly less than 520,000 shares. So good for Tom. And I want to go today into the secret behind this whole thing. Because many people have reported on that. It's a big pay package. I want to break down how big this pay package actually is. But most importantly, why would Tesla and Elon decide to pay so much for a key person? And we will see some robot insights here uh, as an example what competition does to Tesla potentially and why it's so important to retain people like Tom. So first of all, let's do some math. What's even happening here? 520,000 stock options. Just for you to understand what that means, these 520,000 stock options mean the strike price is where it is right now. So technically right now they're worthless at the current moment if they would be executed today. So it's not that he gets 520,000 stocks. That would be a lot of money, right? That would be $250 million or something. Roughly, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of dough, but he basically gets a $250 million base, stock base, that appreciates the same way a $250 million stock base would appreciate. That's a lot of dough. I don't know how much you make in your job or wherever you work, but 520, uh, $250 million is a nice capital base to have to work off of. But now let's do some projections. As you know, I project roughly $6,000 for 2030's share price for Tesla based on my discounted cash flow model, mostly driven by Optimus and RoboTaxi, of course, over 90% of all of it, actually over 95% of all of it comes from Tesla Optimus, from the robots and from RoboTaxi in 2030. By 2031, because this goes all the way into 2031, I think, we are approx approaching $10,000 per share if my predictions come true about the robo taxi trajectory, the expansion into tens of millions of robo taxis, and of course, Tesla Optimus, a humanoid robot that will replace all physical human labor, according to Elon and according to me. So, if that becomes true, do the math. 520,000 stock options at $10,000 in 2031, maybe 2032, but maybe in 2030, I stick to 2031, is roughly $5 billion. $5 billion in gain, right? Why on earth would you pay an employee $5 billion over five years? That is the big question, right? We have to answer. $5 billion is a lot of money. And I think he will get significantly above 1 billion. I think he will get 5 billion in the end. So why would you do that? Number one, put it into perspective. If we actually hit this $10,000 stock price, Elon will get paid a trillion. Basically, Tom gets paid 0. Or how much is this? 0.5% of Elon. 0.5% of what Elon gets paid. So that puts it a little bit into perspective. Would you pay someone 1 200th? of what you get paid, well, it depends if that person is absolutely instrumental. I made this point on Herbert's show, but I'll make it again very quickly before I get to the really important point. I know how Elon operates because, funny story, I wanted to once recruit one of his VPs for my company and was a little shocked when I heard, I, we had a great conversation, when I heard how much he makes. He made more than I could afford. Let's put it mildly. Back then, you know, that was a nearly eight-digit base salary so close to 10 million a year in salary, that was a lot, and 120 million in shares, which is a lot, right? So of course that was already appreciated. So I was like blown away back then. It's like, what is even going on? But then I connected the dots. I'm not gonna go into that person too much. Great guy, by the way. But if you look at Tom Zhu, what is he doing? He runs Tesla China, the most important operation for Tesla outside the United States. And he does a tremendous job. Tesla China is absolutely killing it on all fronts, especially on the manufacturing efficiency side. And if you plan to do what Elon plans to do, to revolutionize the world with RoboTaxi, revolutionize the world with Optimus, what does he need? He does not need strategy. He does not need first principle thinking. He does not need big picture economics because that's all Elon's forte. He also doesn't need propaganda and communications. That's his super forte. What he needs is someone who takes everything he is outlining. He, by the way, also doesn't need to pay that much for technology development. He needs to pay his AI guys and robotics guys a lot, 
But the most important person for Elon is the guy who actually oversees execution, who actually hits these production targets and the cost targets, who makes sure you can churn out these robots at that rate and churn them out at that cost or even below. That is an incredibly difficult job and it's nearly impossible to find people like this. And the best way to find them is have a big company and find the best ones inside your company and Tom Zhu is that person. So for Elon, it's kind of the question, how much is that person worth to me? And the answer is he's worth as much as he needs for Elon to have complete certainty that he will never leave Tesla for a competitor. Because if you're Hyundai, and we are gonna get to Hyundai in a second, if you're Hyundai, for example, and you wanna hire Tom Zhu, could Hyundai pay him $5 billion? And the answer is absolutely not. It is absolutely impossible for any publicly traded company or any large corporation to pay anyone $5 billion. So what Elon does with that move is he basically locks down his key personnel, his key, key personnel and says, I will give you so much money that it becomes a real golden cage and you, it's literally impossible for anyone, even Google, to hire you. That tells you one thing about Elon that I love about Elon. Elon thinks in big picture context and he thinks like, you know what, we are going to change history. We're going to revolutionize the world. We're going to create tens and potentially hundreds of trillions in margin and value over the next 20 years. It's ridiculous to not pay $5 billion. What is much more important than saving a buck here or there, a billion here or there, is to lock down the central pillars of my revolution that I'm planning and make absolutely sure that that pillar is there. If you want to try to save a billion dollars for a $1.5 trillion company that goes towards 10 and 20 and 30 trillion, if you're so cheap that you want to save a billion here and there, in exchange for being cheap, you risk a central pillar of the master plan, which is an execution pillar, which is Tom Zhu. You're dumb. Of course, most people would be dumb because they wouldn't see it like that. They would think, well, everyone else only makes 10 million. How can he make 5 billion? But Elon thinks, what is the value of locking down a pillar on that the entire future rests? 5 billion? 0.5% of my own salary? nothing marginal compared to Tesla's achievable market cap over these six years. And then he just does it. And I want to share something else, which is very important in this context. Look at this. Look at this. Hyundai. And if you don't know, Hyundai acquired the Atlas robot and Boston Dynamics, right? So Hyundai, I had a video on that. Hyundai is one of the key competitors for Tesla on the human and robot uh, timeline. I would even argue Hyundai might be the number one competitor because Hyundai has hugely vertically integrated industrial capacity. They have hundreds of thousands of opportunities to deploy their own robot internally. They can, they are by far the best after Tesla to create big supply chains to manufacture millions of these robots. So Hyundai also has money. Hyundai also has strong state support in South Korea. So Hyundai is by far the most for formidable competitor to Tesla Optimus, in my opinion. Maybe next to some Chinese that I don't know yet, but even if you compare them to Xpeng, I mean, Hyundai is massively larger than Xpeng. If you compare them to US startups like Figure One or One X Neo, of course, Hyundai is a whole different ballgame. We are talking about industrial deployment of humanoids, and Hyundai seems to be smart enough to really bet on humanoids and not specialized robots. So in other words, Hyundai is very serious. Do I think they have a chance against Tesla? Of course not, but I'm just saying they're the number two probably and they're, number, they're probably the main competitor. So what you see here is Hyundai Motor Group to appoint former head of Tesla's humanoid robot program as advisor. So you're seeing the competition. Of course, what will be the central move of every company on earth that wants to get into humanoids? What is the central move if they're serious about getting into humanoid robots? Steal Tesla's IP. Not in an illegal sense, but in a business competitive sense. How do you steal IP? by recruiting the people. So South Korea's Hyundai Motor Group said on Friday plans to appoint Milan Kovac, the former head of Tesla's humanoid robot program as an advisor as it seeks to bolster its competitive in robotics and artificial intelligence. So how important is Milan? Of course, he's just a little piece of the puzzle. They would need tons and tons of engineers and they would need people who can execute on that level. And I think Elon understands at this point, he has the technology lead, he will expand the technology lead but people will follow him on the technology lead still, you know, in short order. He will expend, extend the technology lead, probably not in terms of time, he will be a year ahead or something, but he can't be much more than a year ahead because there is leakage like that. You see it with LLMs and that's gonna happen with robots too. The key competitors will be a year behind Tesla, not 10 years, because there is leakage. 
And so Elon understands two things. He needs to minimize the crucial leakage of crucial key people. And he understands that R&D and tech is actually not the most important thing. And that's our lesson for Pioneer Lands, by the way. The most important thing in the world is not having a technology lead. That's nice. That's fun. You can do it. But the most important thing is execution. You need to be able to translate that lead into flawless, seamless execution, operational excellence. And that is driven by two things. Technology, not robot technology, but AI and enterprise technology. How good are you in cloud engineering, in custom cloud engineering? And second, key people. Key people that are operators and can make sure whatever you want happens on the right timeline at the right cost. Brilliant execution. And these two secret factors, I will do a separate video on this because that drives Tesla, that drives all of Elon's companies, that also has to drive us in Pioneerlands when we build a new civilization. It is the cloud technology and the ability to turn organizations into intelligent, rapidly evolving and highly efficient organisms and key people who know how to operate their technology and all the people connected to it. That's the real secret that is independent of having the actual technology. But technology leaks. Operational excellence, much harder to leak, much harder to copy than technology. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight why Tom Zhu gets $5 billion. It gives you hopefully more insight into Elon's strategy and how he maintains total leadership of Tesla. And it gives you insight into the principles of innovation in the age of AGI that we can always learn and study from what Elon does, not because we just admire Elon, but because he's very smart and we can learn from him and do it ourselves. I hope that was interesting. See you very soon.